have been watching my videos for a long time. Luckily today we get some time and I am going to have an offline conversation with him. So now I would like to invite Umesh. Thanks for inviting me. Umesh, I know everything about yourself. But for my audience, can you just introduce yourself? Yes, first of all, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It's my pleasure to meet you. And I am watching your videos regularly. It's helpful to improve speaking English. My name is Umesh Swami and I am born and brought up in Sapura. But currently I am shifting in Jaipur and I am doing my diploma in paramedical sciences. Thank you so much for introducing yourself. Now I would like to know about your hobbies. What do you do in your leisure time? Yes, my hobbies are playing cricket mm -hmm. and making different type of foods and free time I'm spending with my friends. Okay, so how many friends do you have? Mostly I am, uh, I have three friends. Mm -hmm. They are very helpful in my critical conditions and... So what do you like most about your friend? Like what is the best quality that you admire? Yes, my friends are very helpful mm -hmm. and they are helping in study material and some critical conditions and... Okay. So do you guys study in groups? Yes, we do. Okay. What kind of things do you usually discuss? Yeah, before, uh, now we are just completed our exams mm -hmm. and before exams we are <coughs> preparing the practical records or files then we can group together and go in the college campus and then we uh, discuss uh, difficult topics okay. to making easy them mm -hmm. and then we can write uh, the proper language and complete the record files okay that's great and i would like to know like why do you want to learn english yes it is very important question for me because <clears throat> when i was going in historical palaces like a city park and amir fort then where the foreigners are come there and then uh, then it is helpful to uh, talking with him or her mm -hmm. then it is very important for me to yeah. speak English yeah so have you ever met to any foreigner have, a, have you ever talked to anyone no uh, no now because of my uh, poor English I can't able to talking with him mm -hmm. I understand so then I was started your videos watching videos it is helpful to uh, talking and speaking English very well. Mm -hmm. So thank That's... you so much for making videos for us to improve our English. Mm -hmm. That's great. So it is one thing that you do your listening practice like you watch videos on YouTube. Yes. Apart from that, what do you do in order to improve your English? It is help to proper speaking English to uh, Talking with other persons, like a uh, interview, giving interview in uh -huh. offices, and talking with the, in office uh, teachers and other. Yeah, that's uh, that. Uh, that is one thing I got from you. But I'm asking, like, what else do you do apart from your listening practice? You watch videos. Apart from that, you know, people do reading, people write something, or try to speak to other people. So, what is the other thing that you do? Do you speak with your friends? Yes, I will try to speaking with my friends. Mm -hmm. And when I will call my friends, then I will try to speak in English and tell him, mm -hmm. you are also speaking in English. Okay. So it is helpful to talking in English. And when I was called my uncle, mm -hmm. then we can also uh, talking in English language. Okay. So it is helpful mm -hmm. to both of us okay. to improve English. That's great. Okay, so your uncle, it means your uncle understands English. Yes, he is graduate and double MCOM and oh, wow. he is recently um, preparation for a CA. He is preparing for CA. Yes. That's great. It means you have environment, you have some friends and people around you who speak in English. Yes, right? yes I have but um, more friends are speaking in English and some little friends are uh, okay. talking in English language. Okay. Only some of your friends speak in English, right? Yes. Okay. And have you ever encountered any friend uh, laughing when you are speaking in English? Yes. When I was in 10th standard, uh -huh. then I have five or six friends who are laughing on me that what are you doing? Hey, you are not proper speaking English. Uh -huh. It is not good for me, but 
I forget it. Uh-huh. And preparing uh, English speaking to uh, listening, hearing, and uh, seeing the videos, uh-huh. then it's helpful and uh, giving me confidence to talking uh-huh. persons. Uh-huh. So now I forget the other things and yes. speaking English yeah. properly and yeah, but it's not complete properly. Uh-huh. But it is helpful for me uh-huh. to talking other persons and. That's great. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, wonderful thing that you just, you know, ignore those people who mm-hmm. used to, you know, laugh at you because this is not our mother language. We, uh, you, you know, since childhood, we have been mm-hmm. speaking only in Hindi or in Bagri or everyone speaks in her or his mother tongue. But this is a second language for every Indian. So we have to avoid those people always. We cannot listen to those things. Okay. So that is great thing that you have already avoided and already you are not, not listening to those people. Now I would like to know like when you talk to your uncle or your friends, what are the major difficulties you feel while speaking? Yes, when uh, when I was uh, talking with my friends and my uncle, uh-huh. then some little words are I can't remember uh-huh. them. So it is difficult, but uh, we can find on Google or uh, dictionaries. Uh, uh-huh. Then we can uh, make it easy them to talking about and other. Yeah. So it means vocabulary is yes. the major thing that you yeah, that yeah. is holding you back from speaking English confidently. Yes, it's a helpful. Uh, of, of so okay, so what are you doing in order to remember those words? I will uh, making practice. I will talking with um, on video calls, on phone calls, uh-huh. and in free time I'm just uh, watching videos and try to speak in English. Mm-hmm. It is helpful. So Umesh, it was really nice talking to you. Now, if you have any question, you can ask. Yes, my uh, many questions are in my mind, but uh, first of all, I can ask you to how to remember uh, the perfect vocabulary uh, for a long time. Okay, that is a nice question. And I guess many people struggle with this one issue. Whenever we speak English, you know, fluently and confidently, we always lack vocabulary. We learn vocabulary, but we are not capable enough to use while speaking. This is the major issue which is faced by many learners out there. So one thing that I always share with students and with co-learners, they don't remember lot of words in a day. Like some people have a habit of learning 10 words in a day or 20 words in a day. So don't do that. Only learn two words or three words in a day. And what you can do while learning those words, try to first read some ready-made sentences on Google. Okay. After reading those sentences, note down those sentences in your notebook and try to make your own sentences using the same word. Okay. After that, after remembering all three words in a day, whenever you are talking to a friend and uh, like you shared, you talk to your uncle too, right? So whenever you are talking to your uncle or your friend, try to use those words deliberately. Okay, keep that notebook in front of you and use those words again and again deliberately. Uh, Ask questions related to those words or uh, give some statements related to those words. So like this, gradually you will be able to improve your vocabulary. Okay. Yes, thank you for giving the perfect answer. And now uh, I have other one that is uh, what uh, what long time uh, it takes to proper speaking English. Okay, it yeah, I would love to answer this question too. How long it takes to become fluent in English, right? So one thing that is, we should always be clear in our mind, like what is fluency exactly? First, we should know that. After that, I always think like fluency is not one thing that comes in, you know, in a day or overnight. No, we have to, you know, put our efforts every single day. It depends on you. Like if you want to become really fluent in just three months, it's all up to you. Like how much time you are giving in a day. Like if a person is, speaking English for two hours in a day and if you are speaking only 15 minutes in a day so you will take a lot of time to become fluent in English and the person who is giving two hours in a day he will become fluent in English uh, faster okay so it is all up to the learner how much time uh, a person is spending with English second thing like some people you know uh, always think like we are watching videos we are uh, listening to foreigners and uh, they don't we, they read also every day they read books but they don't speak to people so this is a necessary necessary thing for you like you can skip reading you can speak listening uh, skip your listening practice 
but you have to be very consistent with your speaking practice okay even though if even though you can do only for 15 minutes in a day but be very consistent don't skip a day it That's means it's properly depend on the person who can yes. take the time and give the time to uh, reading and uh -huh. proper yeah speaking. how much time you spend yeah. with this language you know this is uh, not just a language it, yeah. it is kind of a culture we have to imbibe yeah. we have to you know feel and enjoy the journey while learning yeah. So that's that's the old thing that you, you know. I will do. see uh, in historical historical places uh, uh -huh. some illiterate peoples who can't uh, study in his whole life, but he can speak. He is uh -huh. able to speak in foreigners in perfect. Yes. It means it's properly depend on practice. Practice. Now they are habitual of you know guiding other people yeah. in mm -hmm. English. That's why they are capable to speak in English. And this is one that is called practice. Like they are doing yes. every single day. So you have to do the practice. Okay. Yes. It's yeah. properly depend on practice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, well, thank you so much for being here and for being for participating in this conversation. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you thank so you. much. They are <coughs> Umesh, I know everything about you, but for my audience, could you would you just? You <laughs>